guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys already know who it is. If you guys can't pronounce my name, it's Alani Giselle. As you guys can tell by today's title, you already know what's about to go down. I've been wanting to make this video for so long, so I'm super excited. I'll be doing a what's on my iPhone video. Now, I've been seeing this around YouTube. I personally been watching them because I love it and I think it's really interesting. It's a very good way to get to know somebody, so that's what we're gonna do right now. But without further ado, I don't wanna do too much talking and I'm trying to get into this video. So let me start screen recording. First, to start off, I have the iPhone 13 in pink so you can't really see it kind of looks white and then this is my case um me and my brother switch cases all the time and so this used to be my brother's case but now i'm wearing it until my cases come okay y'all so when you first look at my phone this is my lock screen um i don't know why i showed you guys if I, as if i'm not screen recording my bad <laughs> So this is my lock screen. Um, I have this. I got this background from Pinterest and I've literally been in love ever since I got it. So it's like a rainbow or whatever y'all see. It's cute or whatever. And then my, what do you call them? Widgets on the front. I have widgets on the home screen and it's the calendar because sometimes I want to know what I got to do in the day. And then I have the phone percentage because... I think it's cute and then I have my YouTube QR code so that if somebody wants to subscribe to my channel in public or anything like that I just be like go ahead it's getting there right there you got it on go ahead it's getting there right there and it's like nothing and also it makes me feel really fancy with it then I have on the top I have the date and a widget from Widgesmith I think I have a few widget apps so bear with me but I think this one is from Widgesmith and it says I put my happiness first it switches like all throughout the day but when you guys first open my phone, the first page is just this calendar widget. And it obviously tells you the day. It's the whole calendar of November. And I really like it. I think it's super duper cute. And then you can swipe up. And then I have the web weather um, for my city. And then a few other cities. But mainly my city because that's where I live. And then don't look at it. my fitness app and it has my steps logged and I didn't take a lot of steps today but tomorrow I will have a lot of more steps and then I have Google Calendar and it just has a schedule I like this a lot Google Calendar is a little bit better for me in my opinion I like the way it looks a little better and I've just been a strong Google Calendar girl for a minute I don't know I just like it so um as you guys can see I have acting class tomorrow I put that to get ready by 1 30 to 2 but it's really at 4 I have to be there by 4 so I have a reminder in there and it's really convenient and then that's it for that widget and and then I have my settings, just settings and stuff. And then I have my clock app. Honestly, I don't use this app for anything but my two school alarms, as you guys can clearly see. I don't really get up at 4.50. I get up at 5 o'clock, but I just give myself a 10-minute grace period to lay in bed. And then I have one folder. It just has my contacts and FaceTime. I don't know why it's in the front. I just liked it like that, and I never really changed it. It actually did that by itself, and I never really changed it. I didn't really mine, so I just kept it. And then, as you guys can see, clear as day, the Motivations app. This is the best app ever, guys. I would even pay for premium if you guys want to like customize and stuff but premium is not necessary it's a really good app it just gives you like a quote like every single day and it changes i think mine is set every hour to change but you can change the time and things like that and right now this one says when you realize that rushing around isn't working you'll finally start to find the joy of slowing down it's basically saying slow as anyone's words <laughs> i don't know why i just did that laugh but this app is actually really, really helpful. I love it. I read it every single morning, every afternoon, and every night before bed. You can't go wrong with the motivational quote. And the app, I think, is called Motivation. Maybe this is just the widge, but mm, I don't know. And then my second home page, as you guys can clearly tell, I have a, another huge widget on the top. And it's this is the I Am app, another great one. It just has affirmations every single day. And mine is on rotation for every hour, I believe. So this one says I am where I need to be. And I just really love it. So the I Am app is a very good app and I definitely would invest. And it's free. Um, I have the news app, which I never ever use. And then I have the app store. Then I have the tips app. This is one of my favorite apps that Apple already has pre-installed because personally after a huge update or any type of update i love to know exactly what the update did instead of just being surprised or like going into it blindly i actually do use the tips app once there's an update i really like it and so i kept it up there on top and then as you guys can see i have my music widgets and this is spotify i don't really like spotify but i still use it and then apple music don't mind that um i have to pay it later actually i have to pay it after this video because i've been slacking i usually wait as long as i possibly can to pay it 
it and then I pay it. So I'm gonna pay after this video, but this is my favorite, favorite app to use to listen to music. It's the best for me. Nobody can change my mind, especially at school. I love it. And I also listen to music on my Echo, but that's only at home. And then I have Pandora. I really like this because it's like more of like a, if I don't want to listen to my already pre-made playlist, I don't want to keep changing and searching the song every time. I just throw on the radio and I'm good to go. I really like it. And it almost takes me back to like the old days where I would be in the car listening to music. So. And that's it for that widget. And then first folder on this page is the life folder. Um, these are kind of just certain apps that adhere to my hobbies, if you will. I really love the moon. I like astrology and things like that. I'm not a firm believer in astrology, but I think it's interesting and so... Yeah. So as you guys can see, my first app is Nebula. It's an astrology app where it tells you like your chart, your friends' charts, whatever you want. And so as you guys can see, I have mine, of course. Um, and then I have my mom's and my brother's. And it's a really cool app. It's free, but it does have purchases. So I really like it. Nextly, I have the motivations app. I don't really need to say too much about that. That's where the widget came from, from the first page. Then I have the Moonly app. So Moonly just tells you like the phases of the moon in a really cute way. And it tells you what it means basically and things like that and what you should work on on this time and what zodiac sign it's in and blah 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 it's really 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 cute and it's really fun and it's interesting if you're interested in like the moon and things in astrology and things like that i would definitely get one and then i have the weather app this is like i said just for like my cities that I be in all the time. And it's, as you guys can see, it's freezing, of course. Nextly, I have the moon, literally the moon app. Like I said, guys, I love the moon. And this one is a more professional type one. It's more in depth, it has the percentages and all this stuff. Like I said, it's more in depth. It's really, really cool. And it's a super cute app as well. And it's really interesting way to look at the moon. And it gives you a little bit of a different perspective from when you see in the sky and here. And then I have podcasts. I love podcasts. I listen to podcasts all the time before bed, when I'm bored, this and this. Then I have books. I really don't use Apple Books, but I've bought like one or two books from there and they're they've been pretty good so far, so I just put it in the life um folder. Sorry, I don't know why I just lost my brain. And then the Calm app. One of my favorite, favorite meditation and relaxation apps is the Calm app. Right, right when you open it, it tells you to take a deep breath. It plays the cutest sound. Listen. Literally, how cute is that? The reason I like this app is because it really helps you just focus on meditation and calming down. Strictly, that's all it's for. And so when you get into the app, it's like you know what you're there for instead of like Apple Music. I also use Apple Music for uh, meditation and things like that. However, like I said, you could, it's easy to get distracted on Apple Music because sometimes I forget that I'm about to meditate and I listen to music. So. And do not mind the nails. They are just struggling around <laughs> so anyway the next folder is the finance folder i have maybe federal wallet paypal and cash app um those are really the only things that i use and other like places use around here so i don't have anything else but these are pretty self-explanatory this is how i get and give money then i have the music folder apple music spotify pandora soundcloud and genius i already explained the first three but soundcloud i'm actually trying to exercise my rapping i want to see if i could be a soundcloud rapper or if i can make it so I'm gonna start putting some music out on SoundCloud. I'm gonna drop my SoundCloud in the description box But I haven't posted anything yet, but I will and then the genius app I know that if you guys have Apple music, it doesn't like you don't need the genius app But personally I do like the genius app and then I have my school folder Which is the most important folder well second most important So this is obviously all my school things and everything that my school uses or that is used for school um, I have Gmail which is where I receive and send emails my calculator canvas Which is the worst app Ever. I literally hate that they switched this. I don't know who else uses Canvas, but I'm sure you guys can relate that it's terrible and I personally hate it. So there's Canvas and then Mathway. I'm pretty sure I don't know why I got that. And then Mail. It's my Apple Mail. I also get mail from like school here too. Google Docs. Just for like when I'm being lazy or feeling lazy, I just do it on my phone real quick. Quizlet. Like I said, y'all know why I got Quizlet. If you are in school and you don't have Quizlet, what are you doing with your life right now and how are you passing your classes? I have Socratic, which is if you scan your work, I don't want to show y'all my room, my dirty room. Okay, so if you scan your work like in the screen, Google's the question and then it just gives you the answer. So and then I have and then I have calculate 84. This is a scientific calculator that like your schools usually require and they're like a hundred bucks and this is free. 
so do what you will with that information my next folder is my shopping folder probably my favorite folder ever I love to shop of course Sheen's at the top Sheen's pretty cool I like it sometimes you can find some pretty good stuff there but for the most part it's true Amazon my actual favorite app ever Etsy you can get so much stuff from Etsy and you can even start your own shop very easily on Etsy so it's a pretty cool app and then AliExpress the literal best app ever it literally has the cheapest things and they're pretty decent quality I've gotten a few things from AliExpress and honestly I cannot complain and the prices are chef's kiss then i have the shop app this is how i track my orders on certain apps because certain apps won't let you use their app you need to download shop and then you put the tracking numbers like that next i have poshmark and depop they're basically the same thing they're online thrift stores and then i got visitire i hope i'm saying that right this is a designer app where they resell designer products and honestly i don't have any desire with like buying from here but i love to window shop on this app and then boohoo is a great great app for like i don't know how to name the aesthetic but like baggy clothes bigger clothes our next and final um screen on my home screen and as you guys to see i have lock it i really like this widget because i think it's cute i really don't even be on lock it like that but so i have lock it and then the first folder next to lock it is my productivity folder was what i like to call it where i have my notes apps my reminders and my calendars the first app i have is the notes apple app i like it but it's more for like when i want to make quick 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 notes and then the notion app is more when i have like time for in-depth and more cute notes because i personally won't go back to it if it doesn't look colorful um, I really like Notion. It has a lot more like features and things like that. And then there's the I Am app. That's from the last widget. And then the Reminders app. I really like it, but sometimes it can get annoying because the reminders just stay there. And then obviously, like I said, Google Calendar. I have to go into the app so that I can make the reminders and things like that. The next folder is my house folder. It's just everything connected to my house. I have the Ring app. I want to click on it, but is it short address in the Ring? App? Freezing weather can affect the device. It's not even freezing outside. And then I have my Define My. I always lose my airpods i don't even know where they are right now and then i have the amazon alexa i have an echo dot right over on my bed and so i use that for that and then last for this folder i have the keep smile app it's for my led lights but it low key is not good like it randomly disconnects my phone so i can't even use it. i have to literally get up and get the remote but when it does work it's great i just it's very convenient and has a lot more features than the remote does so i have my health folder it has all the things that relate to any type of health mental health physical health things like that and then i have the i am sober app it's just for anything that i want to get over then i have the kp app um this is the app for my insurance company so I got it on there to schedule appointments and to contact nurses and things like that. And I have the health app. This app be doing me wrong. And I only it's saying that I only had 1,449 steps today, which is not good. That's terrible, actually. But we're going to get that up tomorrow. Don't worry, because I'm going to be walking. I'm starting walking my mile tomorrow so and so i really like the app but it's kind of rude and then i have my fitness app which also tells me the steps i've walked and how much exercise i've done and it's very it's not very flattering in here either so i'm gonna get out of that <laughs> and then last i have my flow app it's a really good app it's cool it has a little it's for tracking your menstrual cycle and i heard it's for like pregnant people or people who are trying to get pregnant too but it ain't me just for tracking my menstrual and it also like you can log your symptoms and things like that and yeah and that's the end of the health folder then i have then i have my language folder i'm trying to learn a few different languages so i'd be on here like every other day i have my spanish dictionary i don't know why i have it twice hold on so i don't know why i had that twice but i have spanish dictionary this is for when i'm like around my family i don't know what they talking about i just type it in real quick i have duolingo babel spanish dictionary fluent you translate and then another translate but the apple translate is terrible at least for spanish so i'm not sure how it is for other languages so i may be speaking of the other languages completely wrong but i want to learn french anyway then i have a humongous um widget it has like a few things it has youtube of course i don't know why i put that there even though i never ever access it from here i don't even watch youtube on my phone i only watch it on my computer my ipad so i don't know why i have it on here as youtube habit and i really love the habit app it's a very good and convenient way to track the way you live or the things that you want to start doing or stop doing as you guys can see i have meditation homework drink water walk yoga and read a book and i haven't completed any of them um i walked a mile today 
I don't know what my phone, I don't know what the health app is talking about. I walked a whole mile today, but we're not gonna talk about it. And then I didn't do any homework today, but I can always do that. I didn't journal yet, but all in all, it's a pretty good app. And then once you have it on the widgets, it's so much more convenient. And then next I have the dictionary for the word of the day. The word of the day is temerity and it means rushness or recklessness. Every single day I look at this just so I can learn new words. And honestly, I may not even be using them right in the beginning, but at the I'm saying like by, I'm gonna say like two years, I'm gonna be a freaking linguistic prodigy. And then next I have another Apple Music, don't mind it. Like I said, I have to pay for it after the video, so. And then I have another Google Calendar in here because I like that it's bigger and I can see more stuff. The next folder, I will call this my business folder because I, this is the business, of course. As you can see at the top, I have YouTube Studio. I would refer to this as like my YouTube folder because all this stuff in here is just for YouTube. So you guys can see that the first app is YouTube Studios. And then I have the actual YouTube app. And then I have Pixar. And then I have Fonto. I love Fonto. It's a great app. And I use Fonto for my texts in my thumbnails. And then I have the Canon Connect app. It's for my camera. Then I have files because that's how I download new fonts for Fonto. And then as you guys can see, I have Fontsy, another place that I find fonts. But I also use the font, but it's on Safari, so. Then I have Canva, amazing, amazing place. It's a great place to make your thumbnails. Like, look at all the, it has a lot of templates and super duper cute stuff. I, it's, an, it's an underrated app. I really like it, but TubeBuddy, which is another app that I use to just keep up with YouTube. Um, it's a little better to me because it gives a lot more um, advice and things like that. Next folder is kind of like my socials or my picture folder. I would say this is my picture folder. The first thing is TikTok. I get a lot of photo inspiration from TikTok. And I know that I don't post a lot on Instagram, which I'm definitely about to change very, very soon. But I do get a lot of photo inspiration and a lot of inspiration from TikTok. TikTok is like the new search engine for me. I don't I love it. And then Instagram, clearly. I don't really be on Instagram like that. But you guys can definitely follow my Instagram right there. And it will also be in the description. It's the same thing as my YouTube. And also follow the spam. You'll get in for sure. And then I have Pinterest. Who doesn't have Pinterest? I feel like this is the most peaceful social media you'll ever download. Because there's no social part of so like Pinterest. Um, I'm about to start an account. I don't have one yet. I'm going to put it in the description box or I'll put it like my new name right there. And you guys can follow it, but as you guys can clearly see, I have a lot of Sims pins because I love the Sims and I love custom content. But I'm gonna change it, like I said, and I'm gonna start posting on Pinterest so you guys can follow my Pinterest if you want to. And then I have Lens Buddy. My friend put me onto this, but it basically takes your pictures for you. Ew. And it's okay, it's, it's all right. I don't use it that much, but it's not a horrible app. They have the actual photos app. I'm not about to show y'all too in depth of my photos, but I have a lot. I have thousand, almost 2,000 photos and a few more pictures, I have 2,000 photos. And then I have my actual camera app. Um, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it was not okay. Literally showed my whole room and it's definitely not good so um but no i this is actually one of my favorite apps on my phone it's very i use it all the time every single day all day and then google photos i'm starting to hate google photos however i do use it for like videos and pictures and things like that and then i have reports plus um this is to see who follows and unfollows me like things like that like your story a lot or stuff like that you can pay for premium and see like your secret admirers and stuff like that i don't i don't care about that i just want to know who unfollows and then lastly i have feed preview i always like delete the photos that i put on here but if you guys want your instagram to like have a certain aesthetic okay so it'll show you how that would look on your page and honestly i use it all the time but i never actually post anything so and that's the end of the socials or the pictures and then I have the apps that I rarely use. I have Reddit. Honestly, Reddit is so confusing. I never ever use it. You can find some pretty interesting stories and I know you guys have heard the things on the TikTok when they be like, am I the asshole? Or stuff like that. Twitter. I'm not really on Twitter that much. I'm only on Twitter to get like actual tea. And so if somebody says, oh, something happened, I guess where I'm going. Twitter. And then Snapchat. I never use Snapchat anymore. This is like more of a middle school thing. Then the last folder, I have my games. Of course I had to have my games. When I'm bored, I pop a game on and I be good. First one I have
have color stack, color sort stack, I meant. And then I have geometry light. When I was younger, it was called geometry dash, but I guess it's called geometry light right now. I'ma still call it geometry dash. And then I have episode. And then I have block puzzle. This is such a good game, y'all. Um, my high school resets because I keep deleting the game and then re-downloading it. I have like these really crazy mood swings when I just hate the game and then I like it again. So and then lastly, I have Roblox. I really don't play on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this what's on my iPhone video. Hopefully you guys got some app ideas or entertainment or whatever. Yeah, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe for similar content. And I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. Bye.